The internal crisis rocking the all-progressive Congress may not fizzle out anytime soon, as aggrieved factions of the party have shifted the battlefield to court after the national leadership of the party inaugurated state chairmen not in their camps. Some factions also accused the APC of contempt of court with regard to pending legal matters and warned that the party was headed for an imminent collapse if it failed to resolve the crisis. National Secretary of the APC Ketika and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, John Akpanudu Dehe, had on Thursday sworn in 34 state chairmen in Abuja. The chairmen are believed to have been produced from Congresses monitored by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the APC Ketika Committee led by Yobe State Governor, Maimala Bernie. In the wake of the intense disagreements generated by the Congresses, the party had set up a National Reconciliation Committee led by its former Governor of Nasara State, Senator Abdullahi Adamu. However, top sources within the party had told Saturday Punch that the panel failed to deliver its core mandate as none of the factions had reconciled in their respective states while the party's national convention, which would hold on February 26, draws near. Reacting to the Thursday event in Abuja, the spokesperson for the Kabiru Marafa-led faction of the APC in Zamfara State, Alaji Belo Maradun, said inauguration of the Belo Matawale faction of the party was a fruitless exercise that could worsen the crisis in the party. Maradun said, considering the dispute rocking the party in many states of the Federation, the inauguration of the party's state chairman produced by favored factions may lead to the total collapse or disintegration of the party. He said, the inauguration of the state executive committees without considering the position of aggrieved members is a great mistake that can lead to more serious crisis in the party. I'm telling you that we are already in court to challenge the legality of Governor Belo Matawale's faction of the party, and we are waiting for the court's decision. We'll, however, follow all the rules and regulations of our party constitution to make sure that our faction of the party, that is the Senator Kabiru Marafa's faction, is not sidelined. How can anybody haphazardly inaugurate some favored factions of the party knowing full well that there are still crises in almost all the states. When contacted for comment on the inauguration of the state executive members, the spokesperson for former Governor Abdullah Ziz Yari-led faction of the party, Alaji Ibrahim Magaji, said he would not say anything because they were still in court. In Benue State, where Austin Agada was inaugurated as the APC chairman, the factional leader, Omale Omale, described the exercise as contemptuous, insisting that the group would pursue its case in court to a logical conclusion. He equally vowed to further institute a case of contempt at the court. Omale had filed the suit in court via an originating summon and a motion on notice for an interlocutory injunction restraining the APC from swearing in Agada as the state chairman of the party. However, the court did not rule on the pending motion on notice until Agada was sworn in on Thursday. Omale said, whatever they had done is contemptuous. We are going to take up the matter to the court with all parties to the suit. We are still in court and sure of pursuing the matter to the logical conclusion because the law is clear in this matter. And that when a party is aware of a tendency of a suit and does any other thing to destroy the rest, it is contemptuous. While dismissing the possibility of leaving the party, Omale said defecting from one party to another was not the right step to correct impunity. He added, we'll be in the party to correct abnormalities. Jumping out will not correct the ills. If you do, each time they do, you run away. You are not correcting anything. In the same vein, an APC chieftain in Akwaibom State and former military governor of Ogun and River State, Captain Sam Ewang, retired, insisted that if the right thing was not done, the party would completely break up in the state. Ewang, who 
could not disclose whether his group was inaugurated or not, lamented that some stalwarts of the party were destroying it because of immediate selfish gains, he said. Which state executives are you talking about that was inaugurated on Thursday? There are three groups. It is based on which one recognized and who recognized and why it is recognized. Asked if his group was recognized at the inauguration, he said, I don't know if I have not been told. The issue is that the party as it is in the state is dead if the right thing was not done. Also speaking with one of our correspondents, the chairman of the APC faction supported by Regwe Sola, Razak Sanli Sili, said the group would pursue its appeal and await court decision on the controversies over the World Congress of the party. Sanli Sili said, we are going to appeal the judgment because this case is one that can get to the Supreme Court. So we are going on appeal by the grace of God as soon as possible. We are filing our appeal and will continue with our case. We are the real progressives. How can you expect a landlord to leave his house for tenants? Bad tenants for that matter. At times you have good tenants, but these ones are bad tenants. We can't leave our house for them. In a similar vein, the APC faction loyal to Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohammed in Kwara State said, the leadership of the faction would decide its next line of action if the case is filed at the High Court. Abuja against the National Ketika Committee of the Party did not end in its favor. The Publicity Secretary of the faction, Ibrahim Sharafandi, told one of our correspondents in Ilori on Friday that the group was however hopeful that the case filed in the court against the Ketika Committee would be favorable to it. He said, Judiciary, it is the last hope of people and our case is still before the court. The two parties in the case have made their submission to the court. We are awaiting the judgment, but if it turns out otherwise, our leadership would meet and decide on the next line of action. I asked if the group would ask its members to defect to another party if it eventually lost out. Ibrahim said that the matter had not gone to that level, adding that we are going to cross that bridge when we get there. He noted, we are still in court and the judge of the Abuja High Court told us that he would inform the council when he's ready to deliver the judgment. We are still waiting for that. If the judgment goes against us, the decision on what to do will come from our leaders. Right now, we are not going to another party. Meanwhile, a former governor of Ogun State, Senator Abinkule Amosun, has broken silence on the crisis within the APC in the state, saying victory is certain. Amosun spoke on the heels of the inauguration of Yemi Sanusi, backed by Governor Dakwa Biodun, as the chairman of the APC in the state, as against Derin Adebi, who is his candidate. Contrary to the expectation of some of his loyalists that he would announce his defection, Amosu, in a tease, Statement on Friday said he remained in the APC and appreciated his followers for their steadfastness. He stated, To all our party faithful, thank you for your steadfastness. We are APC. APC is ours. The journey continues. Victory is certain by God's grace. On APC we stand. Thank you and well done to all of you. This crisis, definitely, the internal crisis uh, within the All Progressive Congress is definitely going to affect their performance come the 2023 general election. Anyway, we'll see how all of this plays out. Leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.